Welcome back. Uh, we're talking about a function generator and how to use a function generator. So let's back up and talk about what a function generator is. Its job is uh, to generate a function, uh, a sine, a co sine or cosine. A, and this particular one can generate either a sine or a cosine. It can do a sawtooth. It can do a square wave for you. So you could do all three of these things. And let's uh, um, let, let's uh, talk about what uh, other things is that. Of course, there's a switch for this particular one. The switch sits on the back, so let me rotate it so you can see it. Uh, this is an on position. Uh, hang on. Uh, on position and then off position. It's pretty simple. Now again. This is a relatively simple one, and that's why I picked it, so it's easy to describe, and has all the, all the key basic functions. Uh, uh, digital versions of this exist. Instead of dials, it will have numbers you type in, much like you type in on a computer, and does the same job. So this function generator is capable of uh, generating waveforms. Uh, three waveforms. Again, there are fancier ones that do anything you want to define. Uh, but for uh, for the basic start class, this is enough uh, enough of a waveform for us to work on. So if you look on the screen for this scope that is oscilloscope that's sitting back here, you will notice that it is displaying the signal. Now, if you look over here, I've got a dial. So as I dial this, you will notice that the, the waveform is getting closer and closer because I'm increasing the frequency, therefore the periods are shrinking. If, if that's just going linearly from, you know, uh, right now I'm set at times 100, and then I'm at setting at, let's say, 6. So I'm setting a frequency at 600 hertz. This is at 100. This is set at 6, that's 600, and that's what I see there. Now, I could change the frequency by factors of 10, go from a multiplier of a 100 to 1,000. So if I clip this uh, pin, my signal will go from uh, being 600 to 6,000 hertz. Yeah, and then the scope, this scope is tracking, so it's tracking me as I move there. Of course, uh, I can change my waveform, and if you look on the scope over there, you'll see as I move from a sinusoidal to the sawtooth to a square wave, uh, it does that again. This uh, I have set I have set this uh, scope to do auto range, and uh, so maybe I should disable the uh, auto range. is kind of nice because you keep track of what you're doing. Let me disable the auto range so you can kind of see when I, again, going back to the frequency, you notice how as I change this, these signals are getting closer to each other. I, so the only, the, the, then there is the voltage um, capability, amplitude, sometimes called amplitude, sometimes called output adjustment. So when I turn this, either gets bigger or smaller. Peak to peak voltage gets smaller or bigger. I can do multipliers, so let me make it a little bigger. And then I can multiply it by some numbers. This is right now multiplied by 10. I can multiply it by 1, which makes it smaller. Or I can multiply it by 0.1. So this is these are multipliers to the amplitude. Now, there are, so this is basically the functionality of a function generator uh, as it goes. Um, I create waves and I can use it in my circuit to do various things. Okay, so let me go ahead and put this, turn these instruments off and let me kind of talk about a couple other things you might run into that are available in other function generators, not necessarily the one I have here. So if you, if you take a look at, for example, a signal, and let's, let's take a square wave. And a square wave may look like this. Okay. Now, I can literally, some allow me to push this up. So if this is the zero line, and let's say this is two volts, this is minus two volts, 
I may want to push this up so it's all above it. Maybe I'm doing something that I need to this to go to zero to four volts. Then some products have some function generator that have a DC offset, which just basically adds a certain value of offset to this. So in this case, if I do a plus two, the waveform gets shoved up there. So if this is the zero line, my signal now with the plus two offset will look like this. So that's called the DC offset and you will hear it from time to time. Of course, if I do a minus two, if my offset is minus two, then the signal will shove, be shoved down below as such. Okay, so that's the, that's a DC offset. Another feature some have is called duty cycle. Again, I'm going to use a square wave because most of these are really kind of, they, we could apply it to all the other ones, but this is the easiest way to describe it. So if I have a square wave kind of looking like this, let's say this is a period of the square wave. The duty cycle is represented as a percentage, and this percentage is how long this is. This is called the on time, and this whole thing is called T or period. So it's a percentage of on time over T. So if we said this is these this piece and these piece are equal, then this would be twice. The, the on time would be half the size of this. So we say this one is 50% duty cycle. Which basically says half the time is on, half the time is off, or half the time is high, half the time is low. Now, if I had another signal, let's say that, and we're going to put some numbers on this one. So, so let's say we have another signal that kind of looks like this. It's on for... 0.25 second and it's off for 0.7 second and then back on again these are periodic so if this keep doing that 0.75 second so if you do that then what we are seeing here is the on time over the total period will be 0.25 over 1 or another way of thinking about it this is 25 percent so this is called 25% duty cycle. So that's so let's kind of recap what we've covered. We have discussed uh, a typical function generator and with the fact that um, it has an ability to change the frequency. It has some ability to give you different waveform and I can make the peak to peak recrease and shrink. And then we also talked about the fact that some, some signal ge uh, function generator or signal generator is another name for them, give you an um, ability to add a DC offset of positive or negative, push the signal up or down. That's called a DC offset, or allow you to create a specific duty cycle. For the devices that do not have a duty cycle, they are set at 50%. For the ones that do, you can adjust them to whatever you need the duty cycle to be. That's pretty much it as far as the function generator is concerned. And look forward to catching up with you in the next video.